Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again, or for the very first time, to the Farts and Crap Show, where today, as per usual, it's your host, Anjo, here with part 20 of Pokemon Black Randomized Nuzlocke. Hope you guys are all doing alright. And, uh, still working on my coffee here, I kind of just put it down. For a while, and forgot I didn't finish it. Which is, um, you know, something that happens sometimes. So it's nice and cool now, which is nice because, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a little warm today. I'm not a big fan. Um, on the last episode, we went here to Route 5 and caught a Vibrava, which was freaking awesome. Uh, unfortunately, the Brava does not evolve until like 45? And until then, I don't think the Brava is that good. No, the Brava's stats are pretty bad. And yeah, he evolves at 45. So. Probably not going to have him in the party for a while, because, like, yeah, none of my Pokemon are even close to 45. Uh, but I thought we'd hop on the bike, go east of town, because east of town... I'm patrolling, I'll check your strength, too. HM4. Did you get that one? Oh. Ooh. Level 24? Okay. Thankfully, addition is up front. Uh, let's just spark him. Kind of afraid of that. Shit. This sucks. There we go. I was gonna say I don't have any moves that ignore accuracy right now, so Okay, so strong can help pulling back, yep. How is Shelly doing? Shelly's level 21 now. He's got really good defensive stats. He's doing alright. And I ran into a cyclist. Alright. But I see grass over there. That is a great spray. Hmm. Well, I do have a bug type move. But let's just see how much damage uh, Spark does. Oh, it's over half. That's good enough. Tiena. Uh, yeah, I will switch. Is it... It's Gabbage that has, a. Uh... Is that U-turn? I'll throw in 
pickles. Yeah. game. Hit up this grass right here. Amazing to find a quiet spot like this right next to the big city. Mm -hmm. Okay. He has insomnia. Oh, damn it. So you can use a uh, fire on him. is a catch. Yeah, this is a new route, yeah. It's like route 16 or something is what they said. I think so. Yeah, route 16. Oh, do we have a cut Pokemon? We do not have anybody with cut in the party right now. Is this another new area? Lauren Forest. Oh, wow, it is. Okay. Big Root. Oh, I think that's the hold item that increases the amount of um, HP that you recover from moves like Absorb and stuff. Alright, new area, new catch. Okay. Not a big fan, but it's a decent backup. Oh, I'm still sleeping. Shit. That would do better, but... Yeah, 
let's uh, put it back to sleep and do confusion, probably. this place called? Lower... Lower form something? Rabbit Pokemon? Ears appear to be delicate, they're touched roughly, kicks with graceful legs. Uh, yeah... I'm gonna call this one... Perfect. Mr. Rabbit. Okay, so Lost Lorne Forest. Okay. Lost Lorne Forest. Low Punny. And now we got root. Which one is this? Sixteen, okay. Alright. Hopefully we find something decent. self-destruct. So if so, I'm probably just gonna go. Let's see, a level 20. Nope. He cannot have self-destruct. Okay, good. In that case, let's go ahead and go for the catch. He might have some ground type moves. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, the less time he's awake, the better. Flows of power, its orange crystal in its body glows, it looks for underground water and caves. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll give him a nickname. Uh, I'm just gonna be very not creative with this guy. bad we got some decent new catches especially the brava low punny and boldor not as much have some extra guys. I could go ahead and release Togetic. And we could just have... Lopunny's probably like the least likely that I would ever use out of all my current Pokemon, so... I'm just gonna have Lopunny uh, learn some HMs. Why not? Uh, I'll just take Shelly out for a minute, yeah. Right, so bag, strength, use. Yep. Just a rabbit. Plus strength is not a bad move. For a normal type. go back to that spot where there was clearly an item behind a, a tree that I could cut. Oh man, a super repel, really? Thankfully, it wasn't Snubble. I mean, when I say that purely out of like, uh, well, one distaste for Snubble, but personal preference. Just let Louie take care of this, because why not?
pretty sure I can't use strength outside of battle yet, but I'm looking for a place. There's not my guidebook. Okay. Gibble. Dragon Rage, so I'm just gonna throw out Nancy, because Nancy can actually withstand two Dragon Rages. Pretty sure Dig will be neutral, so. Strength outside of battle? Oh shit, I had no idea. Oh dude, Cubone would be well no, I already no. I love Cubone, but we're we're set for ground types, so Damn it. Another TM I really don't like. Because all roads are connected, I can go anywhere and challenge anyone. Rah. Ah, shit. Just with all these fucking dragons, man. again. Kinda figured that was coming. Toxic plate. I think that powers up the poison type moves. Oh, beautiful. Eye. Well, I'm glad I didn't run into this guy for my catch. Uh, just water should be neutral. This way, is that what you guys are telling me? Hmm. I ride a bicycle, I feel fresh winds, and I win Pokemon battles. <laughs> I'm 
sure he's ice and flying, I want to say, so spore. And water should be neutral, but... I could have Gabbage burn him. Yeah. That's good for this way for now. Pretty sure I'm supposed to go through Route 5, but... I mean, obviously I need to do the gym for Nimbasa City. But we still have one more place we can go to catch something that I think... Because I didn't go to the, uh, the ruins or whatever, the desert ruins. I don't know if there's wild Pokemon there or not. But I think so. So this is a catch. Oh, Luciana. That's not bad. Uh, Mightyena is pure dark type. There are definite benefits to that. Fusion will have no effect. And I need to do some kind of attack that won't. I could have Louis just do absorb. I mean it's Puchiana, I should be able to just like throw a ball and catch him. Desert Resort Puchiana Let's see Puchiana Puchiana evolves at level 18, that's fantastic news. And my Diana is pretty good. Honestly, not bad. And he learns, like, a swath of really fucking good moves. And let's see, Puchiana learns... Which 
Generation 5, black and white. Um, mostly dark and normal type moves, actually, for both of them. Uh, but this one should also have sand attack, which is nice because I don't think I have an accuracy decreasing move right now. But yeah, having a pure dark type would be pretty dang good. Assistant nature, chosen prey until the prey becomes exhausted. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've been watching King the Hill recently, so I'm gonna name this guy. Doggy. <laughs> no. If I'm gonna go with the King the Hill reference, I'm gonna call him Ladybird. Although, Ladybird is a girl. You know, I don't give a shit. Does not matter. Pride Month, man. Man. Ladybird. go back to get Puchiana real quick, but... Eh, it doesn't matter. So entrance of Rosie, go ahead the gate and just run straight? What? Could have had a fracture. Ah, fuck. That's alright. You know, ordinarily I would run, but these guys have decent uh, experience yield, so. I'm just gonna put them to sleep and. Confusion or. Don't have an ice type move. Yeah, just confusion. Motherfucker. I guess I could keep Louis up front for now. Like, he's a little bit ahead, but... He's the only one that has an evolution to look forward to right now, so... Okay. This is also Desert Resort, okay. Some crown type Pokemon I'm already in tatters. A trainer first and a doctor second. Okay. Ugh, 
I would love one of these guys. Yeah, I do. The thing is, it has been such a long time since I played this game, I, I don't know where to go. Probably Nimbasa City, I would imagine. And then... This way was blocked off to the east, so probably to the west, to Drift Vale. I don't know. It's a Nuzlocke, so I don't want to do, like, too much of the side quest stuff, you know what I mean? Like, and I don't want to backtrack until we get Fly, really. Because, you know just makes backtracking easier. Looks like I'm trying to make pretty good time. Oh, you know what? Vending machine. I'll buy some more water. There. Just hold the A button and finish my coffee here real quick. <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad. Because we got... Frickin' Vibrava, Lopunny, Bulldore, and Poochiena. So... Could've been better, but we got one really good one. And, um... Also Poochiena. We are out of time for today, folks. Um, I just wanted to get back to town to the Pokemon Center. And do... I guess next time we'll do the, uh, the gym... The gym battles. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Uh, so we'll go into someone's PC and... Nope. Move Pokemon. I mean, we got some good guys that are eventually going to be great. And I think Shieldon evolves at 30. And he's got the experience share right now, but uh, I want to get Luciana to fighting form. So we'll take out Lopunny and... Held items. Yes. Okay. Ladybird the experience share. And yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good about this uh this team. Pretty good. Yep. I mean of course like the main goal of any Nuzlocke is to get all the gym badges and to beat the Elite Four, become the champ. So, like, everything else is optional, you know? But, uh, yeah. That's gonna do it for today's episode, guys. On the next one, we're actually gonna take on the gym here. Which I think this is the gym, right? 
yeah, this is the gym. Um, so hopefully that goes pretty well. Uh, oh, and they have a vending machine right by the gym. That's cool. Um, yeah, and then I think it's off to Route 5. Pretty sure. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys all had a good one and good time on this episode. I'm feeling pretty good about the Nuzlocke so far. And, uh, of course, before we get going, it is time once again for the Poke Fact of the Day. And today's Poke Fact is all about Dwebble, the rock in Pokemon, which I think that's a great name, honestly, for like a hermit crab style Pokemon. And uh, this interesting Pokedex entry comes from Pokemon Sword, where it says, When it finds a stone appealing, it creates a hole inside it and uses it as a home. This Pokemon is the natural enemy of Roggenrola and Roly Coley, which is kind of coincidental because I I made these Pokefacts of the day like before I caught a Bulldore, so like I thought that was kind of kind of interesting. But yeah, I like the Pokedex entries that kind of talk about like uh, the Pokemon ecosystem, I guess how they like interact with each other and all that stuff um but yeah it's pretty interesting there was another pokedex entry that said um it creates holes in rocks by like uh it has like a uh, it's saliva or it's spit or something it can spit like an acid into them that like eats a hole out of the rock which is cool and of course if it can do that and if it picks its shells like a hermit, or its rocks like a hermit crab, uh, then yeah, like, rock-type Pokemon like Rog and Rolla and Rolly Coley would hate this guy. But I thought it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, thank you all for being here, and a very special thank you going out to the current Farts and Crab Show members, which at the time of recording this is just Novalis Draconis, and if you want to be incredibly awesome like Novalis Draconis, Check out the join button down below. Uh, tier start at three bucks a month if you guys want to support the show more directly and get in on the membership perks. But yeah, until next time, everybody, take care, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.